Fantastic. Okay, we'll start um, with you, Matthew, uh, first of all. Why are the stakes so much higher this time around for the entire Wizarding world? Well, yeah, I mean, um, you know, Voldemort is, um, is really starting to take over. Um, the Ministry um, falls uh, this year. That happens in this film, right? The Ministry, yeah. uh, the ministry of Magic falls. Oh, and, um, well, yeah, it does. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. Yeah. It's on it it, it was on his way. Yeah. So, well, yeah, the Minister of Magic dies, Kingsley Shacklebolt comes in during the wedding and he's like, the Ministry is falling. Yes. Yeah, and then um, and Hogwarts has already gone, you know, the Snape controls Hogwarts and the Death Eaters have already moved in. Um, and that was sort of the one safe place in the wizarding world and that's, you know, that's fallen uh, with Dumbledore gone. And so, um, you know, really th there's very little places to hide for the good guys and um, and they, they need to start fighting back soon or the whole freedom of the world is at stake. Must be good for you, Matthew, having um, Ivana on hand as a Absolutely. Harry Potter expert. How many Absolutely. times have you read the books, Ivana? Oh, I don't know, though. It's probably about six or seven times each. I don't, I don't know. I don't really care. I just dip in when I want. But yeah. No, he's pretty handy with his Potter knowledge as well. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, was, I was a huge fan, you know, and, and I still am. I thought the books were incredible, but I've just got a lousy memory. Yeah. So I am. Um, it's great. To I remember have you. being really uh, disgraced by all of you once when Afshan texted and said, um, "I think you were having like a Harry Potter quiz, and I wasn't there at the time." And she was like, "Does Hagrid die in book seven? And I, uh, so, but yeah, I, I, I don't, I <laughs> you know, I don't you know. know. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, but Ivana, we get an insight into Luna's background, don't we, in Deathly Hallows Part One, when we meet um, her father, Xenophilius uh, Lovegood. Can you tell us a bit about his role in the film and um, yeah, what we? glimpses we get to see of her childhood perhaps as well. Yeah, like he, he does have quite an instrumental role to play, like he, he's fun, you know, and it's nice to see a bit for, I love to see a bit more of Luna's um, family and her background, but he is uh, important because he, he explains what the Deathly Hallows are, because um, they're, they're from a, a children's uh, sort of wizard fairy tale book, it's called the, the Tales of Beetle the Barton, one that J.K. Rowling has published, um, and he explains that about the the invisibility cloak and the elder wand and the philosopher's stone and they're they're meant to be this, the tale is that the brothers they wanted to be immortal to live forever and and two of them aren't very successful one of them the one with the cloak he evades death but Voldemort he's tried for the philosopher's stone and he's looking for the elder wand and Harry needs to find out what Voldemort is looking for because he's getting all these visions of him um, and so that and he, it lets him know where where, where Voldemort's at and um, because you know his wand won't work against Harry so he wants one even more powerful. Uh, so yeah, then Felix explains that, and he also, he betrays them a bit, I mean, he betrays them because he wants his daughter back, he, Luna's kidnapped, uh, but when Harry comes looking, he tells the Death Eaters that Harry's there, and it all goes crazy. It's pretty instrumental, really. Yeah. Isn't it? Incredible. Yeah. <laughs> so impressive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, you, both, you both do it. Well. <laughs> now, um, Matthew, to some degree, I think this is a series about friendship, and would you say that's sort of truer than ever um, this, this time around? Oh yeah, definitely, no, um, I mean, it's been... It's been so crucial, you know, every year about Harry, Ron and Hermione, and the bond that they that they have, um, and that your, your friends will always will always be there for you. And um, and yeah, it's especially important this year. Uh, you know, Neville uh, Neville really is obviously he knows that, like I said earlier, the freedom of the world's at stake, and so he's um, you know, he's doing all that stuff for that. But it's it's also his loyalty to Harry that's really spurring him on. You know, Harry's been there to save the day. Um, every year, you know, and, and a lot of times he had to do it on his own, you know, in a fight with Voldemort. And I think Neville sort of sees this and finally says, "Well, well, no, it's about time some of us stop letting Harry, you know, save the day for us. And how about we help him out for a change?" And so he's, um, you know, he decides to take over Dumbledore's army and and, um, and help out. And and so I don't think it's an idea of Neville trying to be a hero. He's just trying to help out his friend, you know. And that's the that's the important thing. The message that's always been a constant throughout the series. And Ivana, I believe um, Michelle Obama and Oasis have been some of the um, esteemed guests that have visited the Harry Potter sets over the years. Who came along this time for Deathly Hallows? Can you tell us? Um, I heard you come along. Was Michelle Obama was this year? I'm sure. It was yeah, it. she was. I wasn't there for that. I was. I wasn't there for either of them. No, I think they had like a tea I'm party. Like Sarah Jessica Parker came. Really? Yeah. Um, I wasn't, I wasn't there for any of this, though. We, we always miss that. You oh. missed that one, right? Just I was you. good. Uh, you, you heard about uh, it. Well, I, mean, I know that you played the guitar as well. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I wear some, like, I, I, like men sort of... Uh, Influence and I actually did Celebrity Mastermind last year, and Oasis was my subject. Uh, but yeah, the, Liam Gallagher came in on a Friday, and I'd worked Monday to Thursday, and I went home Thursday night. 
I didn't know he was coming in. I was gutted. Yeah. I should have told you, shouldn't I? Yeah, I know. <laughs> 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 Evangelist Matthew Lewis, thanks very much. Thanks very much. Cheers. Thank you. Lov